So we actually developed the first ever handgun safety program for the NFL, and we have guys now that are going through these courses and um, have an understanding of what the NRA membership looks like and using the NRA guidelines to really you know, help them acquire their license to carry. I think that's been something that was you know, very fulfilling, you know, to see that actually happen in a world where it's kind of taboo, you know. And now I see guys that are educated, they're making great decisions. Um, they want to have a right to, you know, have a firearm. They want to be able to carry that with them for safety reasons, or they like to shoot competitively. Um, that's a cool thing. And, you know, I think the educational part of it is, is the biggest part. I would say that's probably the number one goal of the NRA. And, you know, the NRA will forever preserve those type of opportunities for all of us. After 11 seasons in the NFL, and decided you know, it's time to move on in the grand scheme of things. You know, I've, I've been pretty fortunate. It's time for me to, you know, find a way to, you know, repay that somehow. That's how the Light Foundation and this leadership camp was formed. I love working with kids, and we wanted to work with kids that didn't have all the opportunities that maybe we did growing up, or, you know, kids that had made a few mistakes. We really wanted to focus in on teaching these kids how to be real. So with that in mind, we created Camp Bohoicus, and. Being out here is a huge change from the city, and it's a lot of fun. Shooting the shotguns and uh, rifles is more exciting than anything else because a lot of kids, they don't get a chance to do the stuff that we do, and it builds more confidence. It adds more awareness to you and the people around you. A lot of these kids come here, this is the first time they've ever swatted at a mosquito. You know, this is the first time they've ever had to wake up at 7 o'clock and go work out. You know, maybe it's the first time that they've ever thought about doing something for somebody else through our community service project. The community service project, I had fun doing. I've never done anything like that. When you know you're helping somebody out, it just makes you feel good. We also tell them that, hey, look, we're going to make a four-year commitment to you. We're going to do everything in our power to help you get through certain situations because it's not about the two weeks that we're here in camp. It's about that four-year journey. That, that's what Camp Vahogas represents and that's what our leadership camp's all about. I think the main thing that I would take away from this camp is I have a new connected family all over the U.S. and now I have a love for archery and shotguns and dirt bikes and everything I haven't done at home. This camp is basically like a second dad to me, showing me how to be a leader, showing me the good, the, the bads, the rights, the wrongs, that type of stuff, they really meant so much to me. We watched them go from, I'm angry with the world, don't correct me or I'll you know, jump down your throat, 